Starting on Earth Day 2012, two Minnesota families are facing off to see who can save more energy at home, and they're not doing it alone. They're depending on people like you to join their teams and take action. Your energy-saving efforts earn points for your team, and the team with the most points on Earth Day 2013 wins. Let's meet the teams. Our first team, the Mill Pond Minimizers, hail from New London, Minnesota. My name is Jeff Fetch. I'm the father and the husband of uh, the household here. Uh, I work for the clean energy resource teams. I'm the coordinator for the West Central region. This is Henry. Henry is five. Henry will start kindergarten next September. Uh, this is Hazel. Hazel will be two in May. And this is my wife, Ann Dibsetter. The house we live in was built in about 1896, as far as we can tell. Um, it's an old house, even uh, by rural Minnesota standards, and it had a lot of issues. Um, it's been added on to several times. Uh, the room that we're sitting in here now is part of the original house, but I know at one point there was an addition. The kitchen was added on, and the room back here was added on. So when you're looking at a house like that from an energy perspective, there's a lot of unique features that have to be dealt with. We had had an energy audit done on the house, and one of the things that we found uh, is that the first floor didn't really have any insulation in it. So we had blown in insulation done, which on a vinyl sided house is pretty easy to do. They just pop it up and they cut a hole and blow the insulation in and, and then seal the hole and put the siding back down. You never really didn't even notice that it was done. Now we replaced a lot of the lights in the house, a lot of the light fixtures, and, and as we were doing so, we also replaced out most of the light bulbs. So almost all the bulbs in the house now are CFLs where we can fit CFLs. We try and keep all of our appliances and stuff on the power strip. Um, this is the appliance, uh, the power strip that is for our computer. It runs the router and the, uh, the wireless modem and uh, also a wireless audio transmitter for a speaker that we have so that every night we can just shut one switch off and it all goes off so stuff doesn't have to be running when we're not around. Here we put in a stackable wash and dryer and we went with a high efficiency, which is really nice because the, the washer uses a lot less water but also uh, the spin cycle gets a lot of the water out of out of the laundry before you have to put it in the dryer so um, you don't have to use as much energy drying your clothes. Our house is also heated by a geothermal heat pump. Um, we had that installed the year after we moved in. Uh, there's just five wells in the backyard. They go down about 180 feet and they circulate uh, a fluid through them and brings that heat up from the ground and, and condenses it and brings the heat into the house so the he house is heated basically um, with the heat from the earth. I'm excited about the contest. I think that we can do more in our household. We've already done quite a bit, but I know that there's more to do. There's always more to learn, right? We're gonna win. We're, We're the, the Mill Pond, Pond Minimizers. Minimizers. Yay! Our second team, the Prairie Penny Pinchers, make their home in Morris, Minnesota. Our name is the Penny Prairie Prairie Pinchers. Penny Pinchers. Uh, my name is Troy Goodnow, and I'm uh, a part of the Prairie, Pen Prairie Penny Pinchers household. Um, I work at the University of Minnesota Morris at the Center for Small Towns, and I also work there as the sustainability coordinator. My name is Jennifer Goodnow. Uh, I am Troy's wife and Ely's mom. So a little bit about the house. It's been here since about 1908, so it's been here a long time, and we've had to think a lot about how to make the home comfortable and, uh, and to make changes within our, our budget. So okay, we've been thinking a lot about comfort and penny pension. So one of the simplest things you can do in your household that we've done is installing a programmable thermostat. It's really easy and it's really nice because when it's five o'clock in the morning and the, the, the furnace kicks in, it's awesome because you know you're gonna be toasty by the time you basically get out of bed in the morning. Um, and you can set it all through the week, and you can set it for different times, like when you return and when you leave. Another thing we did in our household was work on lighting. We've got some compact fluorescent light bulbs here. We've got some compact fluorescent light bulbs in the recessed lighting overhead. And we've been trying some experiments too with LEDs. So we've got some LED candelabras, and we've got an LED at the top of the stairs as a safety light for Mr. Ely. So our water heater, one thing we did almost as soon as we moved in, was um, we found the instruction manual, followed the instructions, and we lowered the temperature down to 120, which fortunately on this one was pretty easier. No, no contractor needed for that one, we could handle it. Um, and so we turned it down to 120, which no sacrifice and comfort there. I still have uh, you know plenty of hot water for my showers. When we first moved into the house, my father-in-law stuck his finger through our furnace and 
we uh, we had to, to invest in a in a new furnace, and that was great because uh, we we were able to get a high efficiency furnace, and that 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 really did take a chunk of the natural gas bill just by improving that, and it was the right time clearly with a hole in it. So one of the big projects that we un we, we we took on was actually replacing our windows. We had uh, we had old 1900 windows single pane, and so. Uh, we took advantage of some of the tax credits available to replace these with high performance windows and so this is there's a little bit of wood here and there's aluminum on the, on the outside but they're double paned and I think they're argon filled so we've seen a big increase in comfort by changing the windows I'm excited about the opportunity to really think about how um, energy efficient and um, you know green sustainable we're being because I think you know we did the windows and some of these things, then you kind of lull yourself into a sense that, oh, we're doing good. Um, but so I appreciate that with this, with this competition, we get a chance to um, really think about, are, are we doing as much as we can? So I think that's one exciting thing, and I sure do like to win. And our name is, is the Prairie, Prairie Penny, Penny Pinchers. Pinchers. Yeah! Yay! Take action and join a team today. Head to faceoff.mncerts.org. Choose which team you want to join, check off everything you've done to save energy, and click Submit. The points you earn will be added to your team's score, and you can come back as often as you like to submit new actions.